Hi guys, it's Rike. Welcome to another video. If you're new here, my name is Rike, like I just said. And um, I do review a lot of activewear, so if you're like into that kind of stuff, if you're interested in this, then um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Um, like my videos, comment on my videos. I'm always open for feedback, for um, suggestions. Um, yes, but let's get into today's video. Um, today I'm reviewing a brand that uh, was requested by uh, one of you. So um, this brand is called Femme. This is a Norwegian activewear brand, but they do also sell um, worldwide, I, mean, I think at least. <laughs> I don't have all the countries that they ship to uh, in my head right now, but they definitely do ship internationally. Um, yes, so uh, you can definitely go and check them out. And um, they're also, at least within Europe, I think their return policy was quite good. Um, that's why I went ahead and ordered a bunch of stuff. Um, I was told what like some of their more popular styles were, and then I also like put some of the stuff, or uh, some stuff in my cart that I was personally interested in. You know, it's like if I already order something, I might as well um, just try to you know get something that I'm personally also interested in. So uh, yes, it'll be a mixture of things that you know I might be a little bit skeptical about because I'm not the biggest fan of seamless, and they do have a lot of seamless stuff. Um, I got a whole bunch of different colors, so you guys can also see the color range. Um, a whole bunch of like, yeah, different styles. Um, yes. So, I hope you're excited for this. Uh, I'm always excited to try out new brands. So yeah, like I said, if you have any suggestions, you can always leave them in the comments down below and I will see if I can, uh, you know, uh, review stuff for you. Um, yes. But let's get into the items that I got. So, um, like I said, I got a whole bunch of leggings, but I also got one top. I didn't get any sports bras because they look kind of like super basic and I'm not into that, you know, I'm not super interested in basics. <laughs> so, because um, I have a lot of basics, you know. Uh, but yeah, if you like that kind of stuff, you can of course also check it out. It's just like, I wasn't super intrigued. Um, so I just got a tank top. This is um, just in black, you know, so it pairs well with all the colorful leggings. This is the Element tank top in black in a size small. So this is um, like a, it seems like a very long cropped tank top. Um, it has like kind of this twisty detail here in the front, which I thought was interesting. And um, I mean, otherwise it's like it has slightly bigger armholes here. And we have... Um, just a simple bag. Like I'm, I'm kind of irritated always when I, there's like such a long seam in the back here, because why do you have to put a seam there? You know, just put the seam underneath the arms and that should be it. But yeah, um, so it has this super long seam. Um, and otherwise, I mean, it's like a very, it's just, it's just, it feels like cotton and maybe something else. It is cotton and rayon and elastane. Yeah, it doesn't seem very like soft or super breathable. It's, it's a bit stretchy. Uh, it feels slightly scratchy, maybe, um, but I mean, otherwise it's just a basic tank top, so there's not much to it. Um, but that's fine, you know, it's always good to have, see, I, now I said I didn't like basics, but it's always good to have some basic uh, tank tops in your in your closet to pair with all the leggings. So, yeah, um, let's just try this on. Alright, here we have the uh, tank top, or I mean, I would consider this a crop top. So it is very, very, I mean, it's still kind of, it's a longer crop top, right? Because now I'm pairing this with like a really high waisted pair of leggings and then you can just like see a tiny bit of skin where you have this like um, twisty cross detail here. Um, and yeah, if I lift my arms, it's also not really showing much more. And otherwise you also have like super, you know, full coverage in the front. And I have showed you the seam in the back, but we also have a seam here in the front as well. So kind of, I guess it's more consistent then, and yeah, even though you have like, you know, you have a bit of a bigger cutout here around the arm, like, I'm wearing a sports bra underneath now, and I mean, yes, of course it's black, but you can still, like, you cannot see it, so yeah, and then the back, full coverage, the back is also a little bit longer, so this really meets the top of my leggings, so if I lift my arms, still nothing is showing, um, yeah, so I mean, I wasn't a fan of the fabric when I, you know, was just feeling it, but now that I have it on, actually, I don't mind it too much. Um, it feels comfortable. If it's a bit more tight-fitting than I imagined. I thought it was a bit more of a looser fit, 
than what it is. It's not, I mean, it's not tight in any way, but like still, like it's more of a body conscious fit than I expected it to be. But I think it still works, especially like with this, you know, detail here in the front. And yeah, if you pair with a high bracelet pair of leggings, then nothing um, is going to uh, show, so. All right, next up we have the Vortex Tide 2 in purple. So they had like some tights or some leggings where they had like different editions, I guess, or different um, versions. So um, this is the, the version 2, basically. I don't know what the version 1 was like, but I'm assuming version 2 means either improvements or, I don't know, different fabric or something. But <laughs> yeah, these are the Vortex tights. So they're kind of seamless, but they reminded me a bit of the, oh, these Gymshark, rather the energy seamless. You know, the ones with like the, where you had all these ribs and the dots and stuff. I might just insert a picture here. But yeah, when I saw these, they reminded me of that. And then fabric wise also, I kind of feel reminded of this. So in terms of the seamless fabric, this feels kind of compressive and I mean, it is stretchy, but like still you can, you can feel it is going to be compressive and it's more of a performance -y feeling seamless, if that makes sense. So it doesn't feel super knitted, it's more of like a, still has like this kind of slightly cool to the touch sleek feel to it. Um, yes. So I hope this uh, this helps you <laughs> figuring out what this feels like. Um, we have the seamless ripped waistband here at the top and then you can see there's like some, some cinching detailing happening here at the sides. We have the logo um, in the front, no front seam. And then there's like really some detailing happening here. So we have like this one panel going across your your legs here, um, and then some some of these uh, like mesh panels on the side here as well. Um, and then we also have the the name, the brand name on the side of your calf here. It's an interesting placement. Um, yeah, and then in the back we have the same thing happening with the waistband that we have like this like cinching kind of happening. There is. I mean, if you can call this glute detailing, I'm not too sure. Not really, not very much. Um, also, no no seam in the back, not even a fake seam. And then we just have some detailing underneath here as well. It seems a little low to be like glute contouring, so I'm not sure how I feel about it. But we will see when it's on. But I feel like this is not going to do a lot for your butt because it's just, you know, I don't know. Um, yeah. I mean, otherwise, like I said, they seem very stretchy, but like they might be compressive. Um, I also got these in a medium, I am pretty sure. Yes. Um, but yeah, let's just see these on. Alright, so these are a dark purple, and I know it looks a little bit more like black on camera. But like, if I hold the black against them, and if I come closer, you can see it's more of a purple color. So, yeah. Um, so these are definitely, I think, the most compressive uh, of them all basically uh, so if you're looking for like a more performancey compressive type of seamless this you know is going more into that direction although again I don't think the waistband is doing very much like it's it's kind of like I don't know like it's it's ripped again and it's also like a seamless connection between the waistband and the legging itself but then we also have a logo here but like I don't know it's like kind of like thicker and it's since the fabric is more of a performance -y seamless type of thing, it doesn't feel as soft with the ribs. I don't know, I don't I don't like it. And again, same issue, like it's it doesn't feel super compressive all the way through. So yeah, not not the biggest fan of this. And I can still feel more compression in my thighs here than anywhere else, basically. And yeah, it's just I don't know, it's like a weird just just weird a bit and uh, I don't know maybe it's my body type with my thighs and my waist and everything that it fits a little bit weird sometimes or like and you know maybe they, they their leggings are probably cut the same way or something and then it's just you know maybe tighter in certain areas and depending on which body type you have it might be different for you um yeah otherwise they're a 7 8 length and we also have like a little bit of detailing here so if I come a little bit closer maybe you can see it um, on top here we have a little bit of detailing happening and on the side as well so um, but yeah it's still like I mean I don't wouldn't call it simple anymore because it's like all over your thigh and also your calf um, and then you have a little bit of glue detailing down here with the same 
um, like it looks a little bit thinner woven woven whatever um, down here but it's it's kind of low so this is where the glue detailing goes and you might notice my butt ends here not down there so I'm not sure how flattering that really is and again you know you have um, not even a fake but seam here, so it's kind of like unibot again. Yeah. I don't know, I'm not convinced, especially for the price of these. I mean, yes, the fabric is a little bit different, a little bit thicker, a little bit more performancey, but it's just not winning me over, you know. Um, yeah. Alright, next up we have the Elevate Wave Leggings 2, so again like a version 2 of something that apparently probably was there before. Um, I got these in this nice blue, I think it's just called blue, I don't think the colors have any fancy names. Maybe they're in English, I just have this here in Swedish, so this is what I'm basing this off of. Um, but yeah, as you know, I will always put all the information about like what I'm showing you. Uh, in the description boxes throughout the video. So yeah, these Elevate Wave Leggings. Um, when I first saw them, I was like, oh, that's interesting. Um, so these feel more more seamless more seamless than the, the previous ones. So as in, I could feel some more knitted, but it's kind of the more like slightly scratchy feeling knit. I don't know, like it doesn't feel super soft. Like it's kind of a bit scratchy. Um, Yes, and these ones I also got in a medium, and uh, what what was interesting about this is like this whole like butt situation. Like it kind of looks like some of these Amazon booty scrunch leggings, where you have like you have a little more or a little less compression around the butt or a little more fat with there. But then like it's kind of missing the the booty accentuation. You know, if you already start doing that, then why are you not going all the way? But like so we have this fake seam here, and then. I mean, you have some glue contouring down here, but it's not like super extreme. I don't know. When I saw, like I said, when I saw this the first time, I was like, ah, interesting. Okay, that's weird. But let's look at it from all angles. So we have this waistband here, seamless, and it seems like the top is a little bit different. If you can see that there's like a slight difference between this and this, but I'm not sure what they were going for with this. It was, I don't know, I'm not sure if it's more compressive up top or not, it might be. So like, um, if you know, I mean of course uh, most people know of the uh, Alpha Lead Amplifies, but they have like this three tiered waistband, so it seems like they were kind of going for like a two tier here, but the top tier is like very small. Um, but yeah, it feels slightly more compressive. And then we have no front seam, it's pretty simple in the front, there's not much happening, except for the detailing we have here on the side, and then you have that across your uh, shin here and also in the back across your calf there's a logo up here so and then the the thumb uh here so they kind of apparently switch where they put the logo and the thumb but it both usually is there i don't know um it's also just like these like rubber ones that are probably gonna like wash or like come off at some point um, but yeah, that was it to the, for the front. The waistband doesn't seem super tapered, which is always slightly worrying for me with my smaller waist. But we will see how that goes. Um, and then yeah, we, I mean we looked at the back already, this weird whatever this is. And then uh, you have a bit of um, detailing up top here as well. And then like I said, just the... I don't even know what this is, but like it's a slightly different color here. Um, across the bottom of your calf. Yeah. And like, they, they do feel a little scratchy, I will say that. Um, but let's see how they look on, if they're worth it, you know. Alright, I think with these ones I pointed out how weird they looked just holding them up. And they also do feel weird a little bit. Um, I will get to that in a minute. Um, let's just look at the waistband first. So it's again like a ripped seamless waistband. So again you have like no like seam connecting the waistband to the legging, which is Oh, it's nice, you know, but and it's like stretchy, but it's not giving me a lot of compression. This one, like there's a little bit of like too much here and then it's just, you know, because it's so high-waisted, it's kind of like crinkling a little bit. So yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of this waistband, especially in the back, like it just feels a little loose. Um, yeah, otherwise we have thumb on here and then at the side here, at your calf, you have the logo. 
So both things on there. We have a little bit of detailing and this more of a, you know, like along the leg here and going down onto your calf as well. Um, and then, yeah, I don't know, like I'm not getting a lot of compression. It's like, I also feel like there's a little bit much fabric here, like, and then I think if you, you know, don't wear any underwear, you might get a little bit of a camel toe situation there, even though we don't have the fronts, even still can happen. Um, yeah, and it's just like, the fit is weird because, so if I stand sideways, I can explain it better. There's like this detailing, like it's, it's more like small ribs going down here. Like, you can see what I mean, this this part here. And it's coming underneath the butts, the butts, <laughs> the butt cheeks. And it's really tight fitting here, so it's kind of like cutting in there. And um, this way, I mean, it's making your butt pop more, because like basically restricting this lower part, possibly also creating a little bit of a bulge underneath, you know, just where, where, it's, where it stops cutting in. But like, it's just, it feels a little bit restricting, so I can feel this, especially when I like, engage my glutes. Like when I squat it's fine, but once I come up I can feel it pushing in here. And yes, probably makes the butt come out a little bit, and like, you know, maybe it enhances it a little bit. But like, I don't know, I just it just feels weird. And then since this is on the same height as like where the crotch gusset is, kind of, I get a lot of like compression exactly here as well. So all in all, there's a lot of compression around this certain part of the legging and the rest is not compressive at all, basically. And yeah, I don't know. I don't like that. Um, it's just a bit uncomfortable and it's a bit weird. Otherwise, we also have like this fake seam across your butt. So they're trying to get you a little bit more glute action with this one. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how well it works. Like, I mean, I can see, you know, this cutting in here doing something but like still I don't know I'm not like it just feels weird it doesn't feel comfortable um maybe if you have less thicker thighs it's not gonna cut it in as much but then of course it might not also but also not have such an effect like it's also really hard to tell if it really has too much of an effect or not but like it's just for me it's just uncomfortable so I don't care if it if it works or not if it's uncomfortable I don't want it you know because like all like if you think about it, I mean, I wear leggings because they make me feel good and um, they're comfortable to wear for when I work out. Because I don't see my butt when I work out. You know, my eyes are at the front and on the back and, like, if it's not comfortable, then I will not wear them. Like, even if they make the butt look good because, after all, like, you know, like, I don't see this. I, I just feel the, the, the weird feeling in my, you know in my thighs here so yeah I don't really like it it's it's not comfortable and it's a bit weird and like I said like it's not compressive in other spots and like too much fabric here like the waistband doesn't do much and then it's just like super tight there it's I don't know not my thing no all right next up we have the fit tights and I got these also in purple but it's a different purple than the Elevate, or no, sorry, the Vortex tights. So this is more of a like um, burgundy purple kind of thing. Um, so these fit tights are super simple. There's basically nothing happening detailing wise. So it's just like, you know, you have your seamless waistband here. You have a leg. You have another leg. Um, logo wise, they're also simple. They don't really have any of these rubber logos, but they have this knit it in logo here at the back of your waist and then there's a bit of a glue detailing here with this V but that is it so there's nothing else happening here this is this is it and again like the fabric feels a little more scratchy a little less soft than I like it um, and for the fact that they're so simple they're not that cheap so um, they kind of have to blow me away when I put them on because otherwise like I could just buy a literally any legging off of Amazon and I will get the same fabric feel and the same, you know, like, I don't know. I I'm not sure if these are worth it because there's not much happening with this. I mean, the color is nice. It's like a, it's like a kind of a marl with the, with the purple here. Like, I don't mind this, it's, you know. But yeah, they're, it's, they're, they're very, very simple and the fabric doesn't feel like, it's not blowing me away 
uh, for the price that they are. So yeah, let's just see them on. All right, onto these um, like super basic tights. So I like the color. It's um, like just really the small. So come a little bit closer, you can see it a little bit better. And we also have this like seamless waistband here. So it's giving, it's it's compressive. You know, it's it's actually quite nice to get this compression but it's still not cutting in so that's that's nice but otherwise <laughs> there's like really nothing on these leggings like no detailing nothing whatsoever the fabric also doesn't feel as soft and just like like luxurious as i would expect for this price uh, of a seamless leggings so i think you can find something cheaper for the like same quality at least you know um, because yeah, really, there's nothing much happening. We have the just thumb here on the on the waistband in the back, and I mean, of course, you get like more of a unibot situation here with the like the, the, there being nothing, like literally nothing, no accentuation anywhere, no details anywhere. Um, there's seven eighth length on me, and so this is a small, but I like I can do whatever you know I want. There, a good amount of compression, as I would say, probably like medium. Uh, compression um, but like this is how I would like them to fit so yeah I would say you can size down if you're in between but yeah that gets basically like there's not much happening and for the price it's a bit like hmm, you know I don't know I expect if, if if you make a simple legging I expect the fabric to be I don't know you know really winning me over and it's just not so yeah but you know if it's if you have the money if you like the simple tights and you like this one like maybe yeah I mean you know, I can't tell you not to get it, but like, I think there's maybe cheaper options out there for something like this simple. Um, but yeah, they're not bad or anything, it's just, it's, it's just not convincing, you know? Alright, they also have booty scrunch leggings, so these are the scrunch seamless leggings in red. Um, yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I think these will be a little too much. So the front, simple, we have the seamless waistband again here. You know, it seems pretty pretty decent. And then the fabric is kind of soft and very, it seems very, very stretchy. So that's nice. We have uh, no front seam here. So the front again is very simple. We also don't have any logo as far as I can see. So, oh, down here, okay. So we have the fam logo down here at the bottom of your calf. And then, are you ready for the bag? Because, like I said, I think this is a little too much. This is the bag. So, um, this is like extreme scrunching. This one is a little more flexible, but still it has its limits. But yeah, compared to the Alphalete scrunch, I would say maybe a little more stretchiness in it. Um, and then on the inside, you can also see there's basically an elastic attached to it. But the elastic can also only stretch so much, right? We have also like actually like if you already put an elastic in there, just put one in there that actually stretches super nicely, so you know we can't feel the tightness of it. And um, but yeah, I've also never seen the elastic just in here basically. Like I've never seen this before. Um, this is interesting. I'm not sure if this speaks for quality or not, <laughs> but um, it's there. You can see it. At least you know why it's only stretching out so much. Um, but yeah, I think this is a lot. Like, a lot of scrunch. But you know, the only way to figure this out, if this is too much, is by trying it on, right? So, um, let's just see. Alright, these are something else. As we, you know, already kind of uh, expected from looking at them. Um, but I'll start with the front, you know. Um, I can, oh, geez, I can already feel the booty scrunch. by just lifting my leg a little, okay? Um, yeah, but I, I don't know, like the fabric isn't convincing, I've definitely had like cheaper Amazon leggings with better seamless fabric that just felt nicer and softer and more comfortable and I don't know, just better and they were like a third of the price, so yeah, but like, so we have a ripped waistband again, this time the waistband is sewn on, so it's not like seamlessly connected with the leggings here as you can see. Which a lot of the Amazon leggings I tried on in my um, last booty scrunch video, so booty scrunch part two, I will just link this here for you. Um, also had that, like this sewing on of the waistband here. Um, and otherwise the leggings are very simple. In the front we have 
um, film written on here as well. Just like a rubber logo. Or like, is that even rubber logo? Whatever. You know, it's 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 on there. I don't haven't seen their logo though, just the just the the name basically. And um yeah, I, I don't know, the way I spend again is like there's a bit of space, it's not super compressive, but it's fine. Um yeah, the fabric is just I don't know. Yeah. But let's get into the back, okay? So as expected, this is just way too much. Like way too much. Like what? <laughs> um, I'll come a little closer and um, yeah, it's just like what the f sorry, <laughs> what the fudge <laughs> is, is happening here. It's just like, all, like, I don't know, it's just too much and then there's like also some um, some detailing around here and it's just like, I don't know, it's just way too much. Like the scrunch starts here, the ruching starts here, it's just all over the place. Just, yeah, I don't know. Like, it's... Oh, yeah. I mean, I already knew this when I saw them. It's just, no. Um, yeah, but you definitely get glute separation, I will say that. You can you can clearly get your separation there. Um, there's a lot of fabric here for your butt to just do whatever it wants to do, you know? To just exist and not be squeezed down. But yeah, it's just like... I just, I just can't. Like, what? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, maybe you like these, but you know, it's that's that's great for you. It's just I think it's way too much. It's just like I said, I've I've seen much better Amazon booty scrunch leggings that were way more flattering, that just look way better, not over the top, and were like I said, a third of the price. So yeah, no. <laughs> um, but you can tell me what you think. Uh, I think this is just like why. <laughs> Um, yeah, and like I said, like, when I do that, I can already feel just doing this, like, I'm, I'm afraid of squatting in these, okay, it's like, it's just so tight, it's not moving at all, like, there's no stretch to this, and yes, I know, sometimes booty scrunch doesn't have, have not have stretch, blah, stretch, I can't talk anymore, um, but like, it, usually, like, it has a little bit of give, just a little bit, you know, because you're still moving in these, right, they're not just meant for you to stand around and be like, Lou, look at but no it's like meant for like still working out and I don't know I am not a fan of these like I said check out my booty scrunch part 2 video if you're interested in booty scrunch leggings there was there was there was better ones there okay All right, so these were all the leggings that I put in my cart because uh, I saw that these were like kind of popular or because um, some of you said these were the ones um, that are popular, basically. And then, I mean, no, I mean, if I'm already on the website, if I'm already ordering stuff, I can also see if there's some things in there that are also interesting for me, you know. So I ordered two more things. We have the forced tights because they were on sale, so I was like, sure, I'll get these. Um, and they're just black. So um, these are different, they're not as seamless, they are uh, just a basically kind of performance type fabric, but it's kind of soft, it's quite nice. I'm not sure if it's, it's kind of brushed as well. Let me sh see if I can, if I can show you. But, not really, I guess. <laughs> um, but yeah, they, just take my word for it, they are quite soft. Um, and also still very stretchy. They do have a top seam, but I mean, I don't always mind the top seam because, you know, it might help the leggings to stay up a little bit better. So we have that here at the top. And we have just the black logo. So it's kind of black on black, so you don't see it super much, which I actually like, you know, because I'm not about like in your face logos which is why some Gymshark items are just like a no for me um but yeah we do have a front seam as well so we can see how invasive that is going to be we do have side pockets they at least fit my whole hand so that's nice and then there's like some some fun detailing on the sides we have a little bit of mesh and a little bit of like you know um things going across the mesh i don't know <laughs> um the back is fairly simple again like a seam but like no glute contour or anything and yeah, I mean, they were on sale, so I was like, yeah, sure, I'll just grab those and um, see, you know, if they're nice. 
because they look like a, a black is always good for basics and if you just wear this you know, normally like I mean I don't wear black leggings for working out very much but I do wear them for like just everyday wear basically so um yeah let's just see these on all right a lot of black right now but that's okay um yeah so these ones are not seamless legging they have they're more of a performance but still like kind of brushed fabric type of thing um they do have a top seam but like you I can't really see it cutting in I mean if I maybe bend a little bit sideways you can see you can see it a little bit but otherwise I think it's fine also logo is barely visible and um, we have the deep pockets so uh, my phone fits you know still the way it's fine um, so I think these are actually like great leggings for just like running some errands and stuff but you could still work out in them I think they're a little bit thicker than some other leggings maybe but like still I think it's super comfortable and cozy and feels good and I mean they were on sale they were literally like super cheap so if you couldn't snatch these snack these whatever uh, in your size you know and you like this kind of style because I always think like this looks kind of cute you know with a bit of mesh and um, it's not just your your basic black legging but it's a bit elevated uh, yes we have no like glued accentuation here in the back just a straight across seam but the seam is still like high enough to not cut off the butt too much so that's also fine and um, yeah just, I just <laughs> when I put them on my, my foot got stuck in uh, some of these so just be careful <laughs> when you try them on and then also there is a bit of a seam going back here across your thigh so for me it's cutting in maybe a little bit but it's like not you know annoying or anything um, and especially since it's black, you're not going to see it too much anyway. But yeah, we also have a front seam with these, but I don't see, like it, it doesn't seem to be invasive or anything. Um, so for me it's fine. And yeah, I just think these are a great, you know, black legging that you can just, you know, wear to whatever. And just, you know, still have a little bit of a sexiness or, uh, you know, just a little bit of detailing there. So yeah, I really like these, I will say. Alright, last but not least, um, I saw these Wanderlust joggers, or sorry, they're leggings, but they do kind of feel like a legging jogger thing. Um, so they're definitely not for working out, they're more like a, a lounge thing. So they're, they're knitted, this is the grey colour. Um, they also come in different colours, and they also had like a two, second version or something, like a version 2 of it, but I didn't like the colours there that much, so I just went with these ones. Um, they do have an elastic up top here, the waistband is also not very wide, but you do have a drawstring in there, which I like too. And then you have pockets, always very important for lounging as well, so you can put all your tissues in there and your phone and whatnot. Um, and I mean, yeah, they're just knitted, they're, they're pretty heavy, like they're like, whew. Um, which is why it's good to have this drawstring, because otherwise I feel like it's just gonna fall down on you eventually. Um, and I got these in a small, actually, because a lot of people said that they're... They could size down um, and yeah like I said it's more I, I would regard these more as a jogger than a legging um, but they do seem to be very warm very solid and very stretchy as well because of the knit like you can you can really stretch it a lot not so much in the length although that also works yeah so it's just overall stretchy um, and yeah I think they had like a matching like crop hoodie with that or, or something but I just wanted to try these leggings and see um, how they work, if they're good for lounging or not. Because um, they definitely do not work out in these. I mean, you can, absolutely, but you're just going to sweat, like, a lot, a lot more than normal, you know. Um, yeah, but let's see these on. Alright, last but not least, we have the Wanderlust leggings. I would call them a jogger, not a legging, because you have a lot of space, so more of a... I'm off a legging jogger, so like a tight fitting jogger, but you know, not super tight, not like a legging. Anyway, <laughs> and what I was also thinking about when I was like, okay, these are the Wanderlust ones, like why do they call them Wanderlust? Because it's not like, you know, they're so cozy. I don't feel like I just want to go out and explore right now. I feel like I want to sit on the couch and chill when I put these on. Like these, these are literally the, like the perfect, uh, like lounging pants. Um, so I'm not sure where the Wanderlust comes from, maybe, you know, because these are also probably super comfortable We're on a plane or something to go places, but that's about it. And you also have the pockets, right? Like, 
I'm, I'm utilizing them already for my hands. Again, my phone also does fit, so that's nice. But they're a little more open than some other pockets, so things could probably fall out a little bit more easily. So just remember that. And then, yeah, the drawstring we have, we have, we do have a drawstring, but the waistband we have is more just, you know, like a, like your jogger waistband here. You can, you can definitely tie things though. You can see that here. It's just a very thin uh, strip or string to, to uh, tie it with, but you know, it works. It does its thing. And yeah, they're entirely knitted and it's just like so cozy. Like, wow. Like, when I put these on, like, I always feel just like, like, I'm just, you know, that's it. I, I just, I'm just gonna sit down and not do anything anymore. Which is the wrong attitude to have right now, because <laughs> I still need to continue telling you about them. Um, but yeah, I think they had, like, different colors and also different versions of them. Um, but these are, you know, just the, the normal version. And, um, I think they're great. So, uh, yeah, definitely gonna keep these because they're just, like, super cozy and comfy. They're also quite warm, so I would definitely not work out in these. Um, but you can probably sleep in them, you know, <laughs> if you're too lazy to take them off before you go to bed. And yeah, we have a lot of like crotch space still here, so that's why I definitely would not call them a legging. And I mean also the drawstring, right? They're not super flattering on your butt, but it's, you know, like I said, it's for like relaxing purposes and stuff. So there's no compression whatsoever. And they're, they're pretty big, so I could have probably sized down even one more size and they would still fit. They're a little more tight fitting around my um, calf and my knee, but like it's still, you know, it's so stretchy that you could probably still have like gone down a size more. Um, and then yeah, they're a little bit shorter than 7 8 length on me, uh, but for me that's fine. And um, yeah, they're just, they're just so cozy, like chilly milly, cozy schmozy, whatever. And um, yeah, I could literally just like keep them on all day. So, so good. Also come in different colors, I think. <laughs> but um, yeah, I think red just goes with everything, so yeah. If you need a lounge pant, I can definitely recommend these, yeah. All right, it's conclusion time. Um, yeah, I wasn't super blown away by most of the things, <laughs> to be honest. Like, I feel like, yeah, especially for, like, the scrunch legging, the basic leggings. Like, I don't know, you can just find much better ones on Amazon for half the price, basically. So definitely do check out uh, my latest booty scrunch video if you're interested in the booty scrunch leggings. Um, because I definitely had, like, at least two pairs in there that I preferred way more than um, the booty scrunch leggings here. But also like in general, I, pre I would have preferred those more than I guess any of the seamless leggings really. So yeah, I, that, um, I don't know. I mean, if you like them, that's that's great for you. Maybe it's the perfect fit for you. Maybe it's exactly what you're looking for. It's just, so I'm very picky about seamless because I, I don't like to wear it a lot. So if I do wear seamless, it has to be really, really good, really, really nice. Um, it just has to be perfect basically. And I mean, if I can find leggings on Amazon that are that I like more than this, then you know, I don't think it's worth um, paying so much money for it, basically, as well. So yeah, I don't know. I wasn't super convinced. I like the two pair of leggings that I picked up for myself. Um, so the Wanderlust leggings, like I said, I would I would think they're more of a jogger. Um, I love these. I put them on the first time, and I was I just you know chilled in them for like the next hour or so because they were so comfy. Um, and they're also super warm, so, you know, when I go outside and take yoga pictures in the snow now, <laughs> um, these could be a great thing to just put over, especially because they're so stretchy, you can just layer, and then just, you know, still kind of look a little bit put together, but you're also super warm, and it's easy to take off and put on again, um, so I, I, I will probably keep those, um, yeah, I like them a lot, and I mean the, the ones with the mesh, I think they were great, they fit well, of course, they have the top seam, but like I said, for me, it's just, it just means that they'll probably stay up a little bit better. Um, yeah, but all in all, if you're interested in any of these things and you need some help with picking stuff, uh, just let me know. Um, like I said, with the sizing, just read through the comments a little bit and see what people said as well, or comments, the reviews, I guess. Because I did that and I felt uh, the sizing actually worked out quite well with like listening to people's reviews or, you know, just going by what they said. I know it's sometimes it's a little bit hard because some people are like, oh, this fit too small, this was too tight, and someone else would say, oh, it was too large. So, 
you know, but you just kind of have to filter and see um, who you who you can believe a little more. Uh, yeah, but all in all, I would say, I, I, yeah, I'm not too into the seamless that they did, although I know it's like one of the bigger things. But as I said, I mean, they still have like jeans and like hiking gear. So I don't know if you're interested in me trying their jeans or something, um, just let me know. Uh, I do have a pair of fit jeans, by the way, so I could, for example, compare that. Um, yeah, but generally, you know, uh, I'm I, I'm not the, the biggest fan of their seamless. Uh, let's say that, yeah. There's cheaper options that are just as nice or maybe even nicer. Anyway, um, thank you so much for watching. Um, oh, one thing I should also say. So this package qu took quite some time to arrive here. Um, I think it was two weeks or so. I, I think, I guess it's still, it's still fine, <laughs> but just to let you know. Um, but I do think they have express shipping options. They didn't have that for me for some reason, but, you know, pro they probably do. Um, yes. Otherwise, uh, thank you so much for watching. If you have any feedback, any questions, any comments down below, uh, just leave them down below, exactly. <laughs> just, um, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm always happy to read your comments, um, you know, to, uh, to hear from you, to, um, I don't know if you if you want me to try any brands, I will I will gladly try to look into it and see. Um, yeah, because like after all, I mean I'm, I'm I guess I'm not just doing it for you, but you know also <laughs> I'm also gonna do it for myself uh, to try to see if there's new brands that I can discover. Um, yeah, and just because I have fun, you know, doing this. So anyway, enough enough uh, rambling on. Um, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, I will see you next time. Bye!